You see, my people, it, it's Champions League day. Today is Champions League. Yeah. Who want to bet? You want to bet on Champions League games? Manchester United, Copenhagen? Then go to bet winner. Go to bet winner. Bet winner. That is where you can win. As a Champions League today, it is only bet winner you can play your game today and win on Champions League. Manchester United, Copenhagen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, my people, to another edition, a special episode dedicated to Champions League players or Champions League teams, clubs that are playing Champions League today. <laughs> Remember, it's bet winner. Use my promo code team1979, T-I-M-1979, and win big tonight's game and tomorrow's games. Quickly, let me go over the games that are going to be played tonight in Champions League before I go to Chelsea. Yeah, before I go to Chelsea news. Now, the games that are going to be played tonight, Galatasaray versus Bayern Munich. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who want to predict that one? Galatasaray, Bayern Munich. Inter Milan, Salzburg. SC Union Berlin, Napoli. Benfica, Real Sociedad, Braga, Real Madrid. <laughs> this one, I think, is a cool job for Real Madrid. Mm. Manchester United, FC Copenhagen. I want to watch that match. I, I, want to, but I want to watch that particular game. Let me see how Manchester United are going to fare today, tonight. RC Lens versus PSV. Savela Arsenal. You see the problem? Arsenal putting all their energy into Chelsea match. Now they have Champions League game to play today. Chelsea is resting. I wish that our game with Arsenal would have been this coming weekend. <laughs> After the Champions League game. It's rather unfortunate we're giving Arsenal before the Champions League game. We should have been giving Arsenal after the cha Champions League game. Eh? Yeah. Savila Arsenal. Okay, the next games tomorrow. Tomorrow's games are Barcelona, Shaka Donet. Shaka Donet, yeah. FC uh, Feyenoord versus Lazio. Antwerp, FC Porto. Young Boys, Man City. Celtic, Real, uh, Atletico Madrid. Newcastle, Dortmund. PSG, AC Milan. RB Leipzig. Sex that. Yeah, those are the games for tomorrow. But tonight's games, I'm very, very much interested in Galatasaray, Bayern Munich, Manchester United, FC Copenhagen. Let me know your thoughts. Savila Asna. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about these games tonight. Yes, these games tonight. There are games that you should not miss out. FC Copenhagen versus Bayern Munich, uh, Manchester United. Savila Asna is Manchester United. They are playing home. Asna is playing away. Yeah, Asna is playing away. Bayern is playing away. Inter Milan, Salzburg is also another one. Benfica, Sociedad, Braga, Real Madrid, RC Lens, PSV. These are all tonight's games, dear friend. Those are the games for you tonight. Champions League games for tonight. I know you out there, you still have your other teams. Apart from Chelsea, we all follow football. We are football lovers. Yeah, we are football lovers. So no matter how or how, whatever it is, we still have interest in watching some of these games. I'm just giving you the teams that are going to be playing tonight. And in case you want to bet, I will encourage you to register with Bet Winner. Bet Winner and win big. Use my promo code and get 200% deposit you know, interest, 200% interest on your deposit. Yeah, once you use my promo code at BetWinner, the, the, the link is in my description. The link is right in my description. So just go to the description there and click on the link. It will take you straight to the website, register and use my promo code, team1979, T-I-M-1979 and win big. All right, all right, all right. We move to Chelsea right now. <laughs> By the way, what apart from Chelsea, what is your next team? Yeah, tell me. Maybe you have another team. For me, I'm a Moreno fan, so anywhere Moreno goes, I follow him. Yeah. I know most Chelsea fans, we are like that. 
Yeah, it's not my fault. Most Chelsea fans, we are. anyway, Moreno, Jose Moreno go before. We always follow him there. Yeah, so you can just imagine. Um, I always watch AS Roma in any match they are playing. Most of the time, if I had the time, if I had a chance, AS Roma. Right now, that is where Jose Moreno is. So somehow, I've been following them. They won their last game on, Saturday, on Sunday night and they got another red card. Yo, yo Jose Moreno, he got red card. They, they got a winning goal on 90th, 90th plus minute. And Jose went poking a mockery gesture towards the opposition bench. And Italian referees, they don't take nonsense. Straight away, red card for Jose. So their next match, I think it's against the, about with Inter Milan or so. He will not be on the bench. You can imagine. But we still love him anyway. <laughs> we still love Jose anyway, right? Tell me. Uh -huh. All right, quickly, one or two things about Chelsea, then we move on. I will come back again with exclusives. This is just to update you on the Champions League that's going to be playing tonight. Kopama, he, he said something. He said we were at home in front of our own fans, so we weren't going to show them Asna too much respect. We know that they are good, but we are good as well. We played well. We played well. There are still a lot of areas we can improve in, but we are going in the right direction. It's starting to click, as you can see from the result in the past four games. But there is much more to come, and we need to keep going. This is from Kopama. I love the, you know, the, the way he sounds. He, he's sounding with positivity. I like it. I like it when players speak this way. Yeah, I like when they speak this way. Now, going to the transfer market, like we all noticed, this game we lost against Chelsea rang the bell again in the head of our owners that there is a need for us to work on a striker. It was very evident in our game against Arsenal that if we had gotten an outright striker on the field, I keep saying Nicholas Jackson is very good, believe me, but he is not there yet. He's not there yet. Let us not make a mistake. So our owners, they, are, they have been talking. A lot of discussions are ongoing right now about our striker for January. Now, Chelsea will go for a striker in 2024. That has been stamped. That has been agreed upon. Let's see January or summer window. We mentioned Osimen, but they are also monitoring Tony. They are monitoring Tony, according to Fabrizio Romano. And Tony's Ivan Tony issue is going to be general. If he doesn't be signed, it has to be general because if we don't get him on in January, Arsenal will take him up. Even that we are not, I'm not sure. I can bet you on 80% that Chelsea cannot get Ivan Tony if Arsenal is involved. If Arsenal is involved, 80% of Ivan Tony is already gone. The rest of the 20% that's just got to, you know. Maybe we can only use better salary or something else to convince him. So the focus is on Victor Osimen, but they are still they are also watching Ivan Tony closely. That is what I can tell you. That is what I can tell you. All right, before I let you go, before I let you go, on Moidrick, Moidrick said, the coach told me to chip the keeper. <laughs> I'm ending on that note. The coach told me to chip the keeper. Our goalkeeper told Moedric, chip the keeper. He said, this keeper, Raya, he likes to come off the bench. He likes to come off the line. He repeated it again. He said, the coach told me to chip the keeper. <laughs> Don't you like that? Yes. Yes. He chipped the keeper. And that is how he got a goal. Anyway, I'll be back with exclusives. Now, it's only to update you on Champions League football. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me hear from you in that comment section about everything that I have said. Sometimes we need to have fun, we need to enjoy what we are doing. And my, my, my good friend, if you want to bet tonight on the games, subscribe to Bet Winner, Bet Winner, and you will win big. Remember to use my promo code TIM1979, T I M1979. And once you register, you deposit on your deposit, you have 200% bonus on your deposit. I'll see you on the other side. Shalom and peace.